Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. We are going to take a look at the 2022 playoff bracket. Now that the regular season is done, we've got the play-in tournament coming up. We'll take a look at those matchups plus the other matchups that are already in play. So here we go. It's the best time of the year in the NBA as the playoffs are set to get going here as the regular season ended on Sunday night, meaning that the full playoff bracket and the play-in games are set, obviously, the full, full playoff bracket won't be set until Friday as the one and two seeds for the East and West are waiting to see uh, who they will face in round one. The top six in each conference are automatically uh, qualified for uh, the full playoff bracket, which we'll take a look at those matchups as well. Plan starts tomorrow, so uh, it's here, baby. The playoffs are here. And if you're fired up about the NBA playoffs, like the video. Hit that thumbs up icon. If you're a real one, if you're a hooper, like this video. If you can't wait for the NBA playoffs to get started. You look at it in a bracket form here. This is kind of how things finished off. The Miami Heat ended up with the top seed in the Eastern Conference. They await who they will face in the first round as the eight seed, the four five matchup, which feeds into Miami. First, the eight seed is Philadelphia versus Toronto. Three fifty one and thirty one teams in the East, but Boston in Milwaukee had the tiebreakers over Philadelphia, so they're the two and three. Philly's the four. Uh, Toronto is the five. Speaking of the 76ers, by the way, no Matisse Thybul on the road because uh, Canada does not allow people to enter if you are unvaccinated, and he is not. 3-6 matchup, Milwaukee versus Chicago. The Bucks trending in the right direction, looking to defend their crown, and then uh, Chicago is not. They are 7-15 and in their last 22. And then the Boston Celtics are the two seed. They will play the winner of the Brooklyn Nets and the Cleveland Cavaliers, which is why we should take a look at the play-in tournament here. 7-8 versus eight is Brooklyn versus Cleveland. That game will take place in Brooklyn on Tuesday night. Simple. You win that game, you're the seventh seed, you face the Boston Celtics, you lose that game, and then you have to play the winner of Atlanta and Charlotte. Hawks Hornets play on Wednesday night. The winner of that game will play the loser of Brooklyn and Cleveland on Friday night. And then, of course, the winner of that game uh, would be the eight seed to face the Miami Heat. Let's talk about the Miami Heat, who uh, got blown out in the playoffs last year, but responded well this year, end up winning the regular season in the Eastern Conference. They kind of had a skid a couple of weeks ago where they lost five in a row. Jimmy Butler and Eric Spolstra, there was some tension there. But now this team has won six out of seven basketball games uh, uh, heading into the playoffs. Spolstra is one of the best coaches in the NBA, and this is a deep roster led by Jimmy Butler. But they've got a lot of guys. Bam Adebayo, the addition of Kyle Lowry has paid off uh, this year. Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, uh, P.J. Tucker was a nice addition this past offseason. This team is ready to make a run, and they'll have to wait and see who they play in round one. So will the Boston Celtics, as, you know, there was some debate about, you know, Boston, Philadelphia, and Milwaukee. Do you even want the two seed? Because chances are you're going to face the Brooklyn Nets. Ime Udoka, their first-year head coach, ultimately decided, we're going to do what we do and play this straight up. And, hey, they're playing as good as anybody. Uh, you know, Brooklyn's a tough round one matchup, if that's what it ends up being. But if Jalen Brown and Jason Taylor them, uh, keep playing the way they have since the new year, really, but especially since the All-Star break, uh, this team uh, will have a chance to win the Eastern Conference, and I think actually this team should be considered one of, if not the favorites, to come out of the East this year. Now, what is the better sport in your guys' eyes? Because we cover both here at Chat Sports, NBA, NFL. Type NBA, type NFL. Let us know in the comments. Better sport, which one do you enjoy more? And this is why you subscribe to Chat Sports, because whether it's the NBA or the NFL, we cover them both here on this YouTube channel. Obviously, our NBA coverage is going to start ramping up as we cover the NBA year-round, but especially when the playoffs get here, the high parts of the offseason, free agency, and the draft, we have a ton of coverage there as well. Help us reach 300,000 subscribers. We're approaching 287,000 right now. Link is below. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. Go ahead and subscribe today. We take a look at the matchups uh, that are already set in the Eastern Conference. Then we'll get to the West. Uh, you've got the six-seeded Bulls trending in the wrong direction, like I mentioned, heading up against Milwaukee. Losers of 15 of 22 is Chicago. Earlier in the year, this looked like the team to beat in the East. Can they refine some of that magic? No Lonzo Ball in the playoffs. Milwaukee, Giannis is playing at an MVP level. you got Chris Middleton. Uh, you've got Drew Holiday. That's going to be a tough matchup for Chicago. This is the most intriguing matchup in the East to me because – 
Philadelphia should be the better team in this series. But Toronto's got Nick Nurse. I think that's he's going to win the coaching battle over Doc Rivers. I mentioned Matisse Thybul. He's not going to be eligible in games three, four, or game six if it goes that long in Toronto. He can only play at home in this series as an unvaccinated player uh, due to Canada's COVID restrictions. So I think that's notable. If you're Philly, you better win your first two games at home to put yourself in a good spot. If the Sixers lose this series, you heard it here first, Doc Rivers will not be this team's head coach next year. Okay, uh, also you've got the Hawks and the Hornets uh, getting ready to play on Wednesday night, the Nets and the Cavaliers as well, just to circle back to the plan. So that's kind of the outlook of the Eastern Conference uh, as we get the NBA playoffs underway here. Uh, again, with the play-in tournament starting tomorrow through the 15th, and then uh, game ones uh, for several series getting going this Saturday, April 16th. We'll get to the Western Conference in just a moment, but if your favorite team make, made the playoffs, like the video, hit the thumbs up icon, even if it didn't and you're just excited for the playoffs, you can like this video as well, but we want to know, rep your squad, like this video if your team made the playoffs. All right, let's go to the Western Conference. Uh, here's the bracket outlook here. Phoenix was the best team in the NBA throughout, even though Chris Paul missed some time. They still won 64 games. They will wait to see who they play in round one. 4-5 uh, or five matchup, the Dallas Mavericks and Utah Jazz. We'll talk Luka Doncic latest coming up in just a moment. Uh, that, of course, will feed into face likely Phoenix in round two. Golden State won their final five to secure the three seed. They will face the Denver Nuggets in that 3-6 matchup. And then the Memphis Grizzlies, who I think of the most surprising team in the NBA this year, won 56 games. Uh, the clear-cut number two seed, they will, of course, face the winner of the Clippers and the T-Wolves, which, hey, I think these are two pretty dangerous teams in this play-in tournament, Minnesota and Los Angeles. Paul George just got back for the Clippers. They've been streaking toward the end of the season. They ended up above 500 at 42 and 40. Minnesota's got the dynamic trio of Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, and D'Angelo Russell. And they've got some nice depth pieces. Pat Beverly has fit in there very, very nicely. In the 9-10 seed, you got the Pelicans and Spurs. So to keep it simple, winner of Minnesota and Clippers, uh, will be the seventh seed to face Memphis. The loser will face the winner of New Orleans and San Antonio. And then, of course, the winner of that final game will get the eight seed to face the Phoenix Suns. Take a look at some of these other matchups in the West momentarily. But if you want to bet on any of these games, especially the play-in tournaments, if you don't have a dog in the fight, betting on those matchups are a lot of fun. Get going with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet. That is the link to go to. Use our promo code CHAT125 to get 125% deposit bonus. We have uh, conference title odds for both the East and the West. Eastern Conference, Milwaukee is the favorite to repeat and come out of the East at plus 275. Brooklyn, got to get to the play in first, but they're right there at plus 325. Miami, Boston, both at plus 450, and then Philadelphia at plus 500. In the West, no surprise, the Phoenix Suns, almost even odds. They are favorites uh, by a long shot to come out of the West. Uh, Golden State at plus 500, Memphis at plus 600. Dallas at plus 1,000, and then the Utah Jazz at plus 1,200. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code CHAT125 if you want to bet on individual games or futures like conference title odds or NBA title odds. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the top-seeded Phoenix Suns, who, like I mentioned, have been the best team in the NBA uh, and had the best uh, record in the NBA by a wide margin, eight games above Memphis with 64 wins there. Interesting note here, trying to become the 15th team in NBA history to lose the final one year and then win it all the next season can cp3 finally get over the hump and get a championship it would be kind of the final piece to what has been a hall of fame resume uh, the memphis grizzlies earned the two seed in the western conference like i mentioned the you know, biggest surprise, the biggest breakout team in the NBA. Ja Morant, who is fantastic and gets a lot of the attention, but this team went 20 and 2, 20 and 3 without him. Can't remember what they ended up. He came back and played one game late in uh, the year to get some run under him after he missed some time, but. Deep team, Desmond D Bain, Dylan Brooks, uh, Tyus Jones, uh, Steven Adams has given this team some edge. Uh, this team goes really, really deep onto its bench, uh, and this team plays with a lot of swagger. The question is, will that swagger carry over? Not a lot of a playoff experience here. Got a little bit of a taste last year, uh, beat Golden State in that play-in game, and then uh, got to the, uh, the tournament and actually won game one against Utah a year ago. Will they win a series or two this year? Obviously looking to take that next step. 
So are the Grizzlies for real? Because the regular season's one thing, but all you true hoopers know the playoffs, totally different game. Type Y for yes, type in for no. I think they are. I don't know if they're we can win a championship real, like if you're a Grizzlies fan, but uh, I think this team can make the conference finals and uh, maybe push Phoenix a little bit. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Why for yes or in for no. Now the other matchups that are set beyond the play-in tournament, uh, Denver the 6 C, Golden State the 3 C. This is going to be a tough matchup for the Nuggets. Warriors have kind of found their footing here late without Steph Curry, by the way. So assuming he comes back, uh, that would be huge for this series. No Michael Porter, no Jamal Murray. Uh, latest reports, they are not uh, expected to come back for the playoffs. So Nikola Jokic is going to have to be, you know, superhuman for them to have a chance to take down Golden State. I think this is the series to watch out for because before last night, I think Dallas would have been a – Fairly decent favorite over Utah, but then Luka Doncic gets diagnosed with a calf strain. If you're watching this on Monday, he's having an MRI at some point today. We'll see what the results of those are. If it's a grade, grade one strain, maybe he doesn't miss any time at all. Uh, if it's a grade two strain, though, could miss three to six weeks, which means he would almost certainly not play in this series. So keep an eye out on that one. I think if Luka plays, Dallas wins this series. If not, or if he's severely limited, I think the advantage shifts back toward Utah. And by the way, game one Saturday, that, uh, that favors uh, Utah because a uh, uh, better chance Doncic would miss at least one game. So those matchups are set. And, of course, as we await to see who wins these playing games, Minnesota and L.A., the winner of that will face Memphis. Uh, the loser will play the winner of New Orleans and San Antonio, which, of course, the winner of that game would take place on Friday. Uh, and then uh, we'll see uh, who wins that one to get the eight seed to face the Phoenix Suns. All right, who's going to win the Western Conference as we've now broken down both sides of the bracket. I'm going to roll with Phoenix. I know it's the obvious answer, but they just they just look different this year. They play at a different speed than the rest of this league. Always under control. I'm taking the Phoenix Suns. Let us know what you guys think, and hey, enjoy the playoffs, baby. It's here.